I like that video, and I'm going to refer to it here in just a bit, but I wanted to start out with something else tonight, because if you are on the mailing list for Presentation Academy, you have been getting some very cool postcards in the mail, or if you haven't, you soon will. So I don't want to, I may be spoiling the prize surprise here for some of you, but Presentation has been sharing some of their unique stories of girls through a campaign, and they've been putting them in some very iconic images. So you may have seen this one. This was the Wizard of Oz. Emma Rose Strybell is featured on that. She's a fabulous dancer. We've got Rosie the Riveter here. Yes, indeed, Rosie the Riveter. Brianna is featured on that one. Iconic image you have surely seen. And then this one is Lunch Atop a Skyscraper. All of the collegiate athletes from 2014 were featured in this one. And there's going to be some other ones that are coming out as well. All of these are part of a campaign that Presentation is calling Iconic in Education, which got me to wondering, now, how can Prez be iconic in education unless Prez is an icon itself? So then I started to think of, well, what is an icon? And I think all of us would agree, if, it's gonna, if you're going to be an icon, you've got to be famous, right? That's, that's the first thing. You've got to be famous. Well, first, Prez is Louisville's oldest continuous, continuously operating school, so that certainly lends itself. The build... The buildings are on the National Register of Historic Places, which would lend itself. And if you haven't checked it out, they've got a very long Wikipedia page, which I think also lends itself to being famous. But surely there's more to it than that. So that's where I went to the all-knowing Google and asked Google what it takes to be an icon. And I'm going to ask for your cooperation in this. This is a a little bit different than than what I would normally do here. But I think you're going to find this very interesting because as I went through it, these are the softer sides of being an icon. And I think you'll find it very interesting. And you can decide, as I did, as to whether or not Prez meets these criteria. So what I'm going to do is there's six different short questions that have to be answered. And if you agree with me, I will go like this and you can say icon if you agree. And if not, you can just remain quiet because you don't agree with that particular one. But according to Google experts, the first way that you can be an icon, the first, the first test, if you will, is do they pass the one name test? In other words, and let me give you some examples. If I say Elvis, you say That's right. If I say Cher, you say? If I say Sinatra, you say? If I say Madonna, you say? And Madonna is either one, by the way. Either one will work for that. So if I say Prez, you say? It's a one-name shop, right? We even saw that on the videos up there as well. That a couple of the girls, gosh, I wrote it down. I immediately knew that Prez is where I wanted to go to school. Another one said, presentation is the place. Be a Prez girl. Okay, so check that one off. Yes, we've passed the first test. Test question number two, according to the Google experts. Megan and Savannah, could you come on stage? Is there stairs over here? Yes, there are. Come on stage. So we have two Prez girls right here. Come up and just get right here in the light so everybody can see you. According to Google experts, the second thing that you must have to be an icon is, if you wanted to, could you dress up as them for Halloween? (laughs) Thank you. Thank you, girls. All right, off the stage you go. Thank you. Test question number three to be an icon. Does the icon have a catchphrase? That would be something like, beyond, belong, beloved. Ladies and gentlemen, does Prez have a catchphrase? Icon. Yes, indeed it does. Test question number four. Do they have a song written about them? Now, for those of you that are new, you probably don't realize this because this is your first time here, but I have a video that I shot last year at this event where virtually everybody was standing singing the alma mater song. Ladies and gentlemen, does Prez have a song written after it? Yes, it does. Check that box, and let's move on to test question number five. Before I share that with you, I just want to point out something. 
In just a couple of minutes here, I am going to be inviting you to make a donation to the scholarship fund. And everybody who raises their hand and makes a donation is going to be given a gift. It's a lovely mug. I'm spoiling the surprise here a bit, but it's important to do so. In the Be Our Guest fashion, it has some lovely teas in it, and it has a beautiful logo here on the front. According to the Google experts, test question number five, is there merchandise that bears their image? Ladies and gentlemen, does Prez have merchandise bearing their image? Yes, indeed. And the next final question. And this was the one. I got a little hung up. I was a little nervous. I'll be honest when I read this one. And it didn't really resolve itself until we were in the car on the way over to the hotel here tonight. I will explain it. I'll tell you what it is, and then I'm going to explain it because there might be some people here who don't actually understand it. But according to the Google experts, test question number three and this is the icon criteria that really hangs in the balance here. Within six degrees of separation, can the icon be linked to Kevin Bacon? <laughs> now, for those of you who are out of the loop here, Kevin Bacon is a prolific character actor, and back in 1994, it was, it was said that he is at the center of the entertainment universe because he's worked in so many films and knows so many people. And if you didn't know Kevin Bacon or have worked with him, you are really out of the loop. So the question was, is can Prez be linked to Kevin Bacon within a six degree of separation. So Patty gave me a ride over here. Patty Peachy, she works over there at, at the school. So Patty and I were talking about just different events. And Patty said, oh, she says, well, um, my daughter, she says, my daughter likes to go to the high-low camp. And the high-low camp here in town, she likes the petting zoo in particular here in Louisville. She says the high-low camp is run by Jennifer Lawrence's parents. Jennifer Lawrence's parents, of course, she's met, she got a signed autograph at one point from Jennifer Lawrence, are the parents of Jennifer Lawrence. And Jennifer Lawrence, ladies and gentlemen, in 2011, worked with Kevin Bacon in the X-Men movie. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, is Prez an icon? Yes, indeed it is. It has passed the Google test, indeed. So I'm glad we have that all resolved and it's official. Now, I don't need to tell many of you that Presentation Academy has a very rich tradition. It was birthed from a woman who had a tremendous amount of compassion, a tremendous amount of love and dedication. She was an icon in her own right, Catherine Spaulding. In fact, yes, in fact, unless you've been living under a rock and haven't read the papers in the last month, Louisville has a whole bunch of statues, and they just so happen to be men, which is fine. They've done some great things. But the very first female statue that will be erected in Louisville is going to be Catherine Spaulding. So we have an iconic woman, Catherine Spaulding, who has launched at what is now an iconic institution. So I think it's only fitting that once a year we get together and recognize some iconic women here through the Tower Awards program. Now, this school loves strong, self-confident women, so much so that even if a Tower Award winner is not graduating from the, the, the school, they say, girls, this is someone to emulate. This is someone to look up to. This is a role model. Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you this, that within the Louisville community, there are girls who could be icons. They've got the passion, they've got the mental acumen, they've got the desire. What they lack is the money to come to the school.